Hey, man! When'd you guys get here? My name is Susie Messerol, and I'm the director of Blue Collar Diaries, and this is... I'm Michelle Myersberg, and I am uh, the person who wrote the piece and performing it. Fa-la-la, -la, like she's Zsa Zsa Gabor. Jumpin' Jaw, who's a fat? How'd you do that? You didn't break that window, did ya? You bring me some Mountain Dew, huh? Hey, nurse, give me the bedpan. <laughs> Hoo-wee! Blue Collar Diaries is a one-woman show that is set in a, a working class neighborhood in St. Paul, and it's about Michelle's experiences growing up in the neighborhood. Oh, uh, Elmer, uh, this here's a Myers. What'd you say your name was again, honey? Melissa? Michelle? And what's your dad's name? Paul Myers. Oh, hey, ain't he that fellow that likes to fix things? Maybe I ought to give him a call. She plays well over 16 characters, um, ranging from all ages, both genders, uh, people that were really important to her in the neighborhood. You remember Cubby? He had that barber shop. Oh, Cubby was something else. He had that barber shop a long time. Yeah, only he didn't cut your hair with a razor or a clippers. He used a zippo. A cigarette lighter. It's also the story of her understanding of her family and looking back through an adult lens and reevaluating her childhood. People in my neighborhood didn't have much in the way of material wealth, but just the same, all these years later, I can finally see the immense treasure that they deposited into my life. It's also really fun to see one actor portrays so many different characters. I mean, in many ways, that's the joy of the one person show where we're doing multiple characters. And so just to be able to sit in the audience and watch Michelle go from an elderly baker. You know I ain't insulting when Ginny tell me to go to hell. Hell ain't got nothing I ain't seen right here on the line. To Sister Melba Toast, who's saving people over the radio. Put your hand on the radio and feel the healing power of the Holy Spirit. Hello, this is Sister Melba Toast, and welcome to Radio S-A-V-E, coming to you from right here in the basement of my very own home. To playing her mother, to playing her father. I learned that the tight spot that my father was in was a battle called Kum Sung Salient. Some 72,000 enemy soldiers, three entire division, poured through his company's position just days before his 21st birthday. It's, it's one of those great combination of shows that's both funny but also has just a huge amount of heart. Then when Charlie come down, you know, we watch uh, that Judge Wapner on television. Oh, he's good, you know. He don't put up with nobody's monkey shines. No, throughout the day, I clean the house, though not that rotten cat box. I didn't want that animal. And then 10 minutes before the kids get home from school, I luxuriate in a cup of Folgers ground crystals. It's funny. I think it's, I, I have to say, I mean, I hope it's funny. I hope it's, it's definitely, funny. I can speak to that. It's, it's very <laughs> funny. My sister's husband, the doctor, he isn't around a whole lot either. So she spends time with her boyfriend, Jim. Beam. Yeah, have you met him? And there's such amazing characters. Remember that big fat chick that used to sing with that group? People said she died choking on a ham sandwich. No, man. See, she's working at the Wendy's. Idiot! You're the one who told me she was a fat pig. What do you care? It's a whirlwind of an evening. It's um, what she packs in 90 minutes is really, uh, it's just an amazing acting achievement. And so on that standpoint, too, it's, it's pretty fun to watch. I hope so. <laughs> In the end, their greatest assets were not in a bank or a beautiful home, but in their discernment about the inherent worth of a human being. You know, if you grew up wearing hand-me-down clothes that had been through two other sets of people before it got to you, At least. then this really is, is the show. This is a show for all of all of us who never had a set of boots that were brand new. Right. Well, and then the, uh, the idea that, that that's, I think we're, we're sort of in that place again. And there's virtue in that. I mean, that, you know, to understand that 
we don't always have to have a new pair of boots. How about that? <laughs> you know? Well, now that's all the time we've got. And uh, this is Sister Melba Toast saying, tune in tomorrow when we'll be talking about what to do when the inside of your oven and your God-forsaken souls look like hellfire and brimstone. And until that time, just remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. Me? I married Bob because he was a looker.